in which you toss the coin and roll a die. So two events is going on. You are paid twenty dollar if your coin shows a tail and you roll at most four on a die. What is the expected profit or loss of our game? So well, this is expected profit, same as mean. Well, there is a formula for it actually. Let's have this one on. So expected profit e of x same as mean is equal to sum of the discrete random variable x times the probability of x so we'll be using this formula actually so i'll then i can organize it a little bit here so i can put down x here probability of x here then of course x times probability of x here and this is the event so i'm going to have a profit and loss let's take a look here i'm going to have this x here and obviously this is going to be probability of x and this is going to be x times probability of x and same thing here down is going to be profit and we're going to have this one down here is going to be a loss okay so we have pretty much a structure already so now what is my discrete random variable x so this is what coming up from the question itself suppose you pay twelve dollar so you pay twelve dollar that is gone it's not in your pocket anymore so that is the loss you can think you're not going to get back this one maybe so twelve dollar is a loss so i can put down this twelve dollar right here on the bottom here so i can put down twelve dollar here with a negative sign this is a loss so negative sign so but you fade a twenty dollar so if you fade twenty dollar so what is the difference the difference is eight dollars so difference is eight dollars so difference is eight dollars so we have discrete random variable now as you see remember you know the, you see this kind of problem a lot you know so in the statistics book you just have to pay attention what you pay that is loss and what you get back the difference is going to be your profit now probability of x this is the crucial actually this one is trick tricky to find out but there are some information is given in the problem actually so you paid twenty dollar if your coin shows a tail and a roll at most four on a die. So seems like we have a coin, coin, and a die going on here. So coin and a die. So I need to actually create a sample space. So visually I see clearly what's going on here. So if I say this is a coin, and coin has a two option head and tail and head will have one two three four five six option and tail will have also one two three four five six option and i can just put down this looks like these are the six option now I look into this read this sentence your coin if your coin shows up on a tail so we're going to look into tail and at most four so on a tail so we are paying attention we keep our discussion limited into tail in order to find the profit and you go at most four so this is what we are looking for so one two three four one two three four four out of 12 so 4 out of 12 should be our profit or probability actually in this case so if 4 out of 12 is a probability we can easily find out the failure 12 take away 4 is 8 out of 12 8 out of 12 then of course we can simplify it we can simplify it it's going to give you one third and of course two three take away one is two third now what we are going to do is 
we are going to multiply because this is x times the probability of so we're going to multiply this so we're going to multiply this so we're going to say 8 times this negative 12 times that so we're going to multiply it any calculator we can use that would be fine 8 times 1 third that would approximately 2.67 because I'm talking about the money so I rounding up two decimal places I do the same thing up here negative 12 times 2 third it should give me negative 12 times 2 third approximately negative 8 dollar clearly it goes to 4 12 4 times 4 times 2 is 8 negative 8 and if I add this now expected value so sum of remember this is a summation summation means you add this to product so if I add this product I basically get expected value or profit in this case is not a profit because if you add this two is going to give you loss which is negative 5.33 dollar you take any calculator you just multiply and add that is the net loss in this case and as you see gambling is not fun sometimes